packing card just arrived so I've been mounting all the pins on the backing card. I end up putting all in all of them the yellow rubber things. This way I can store them a lot easier and not get worried that they'll like um, scratch each other or something like that. But yeah, I think they look so so cute on the backing cards. Let me know what you think. Yay! <laughs> another week and welcome back to another studio vlog the footage you saw from before it was from last week and the beginning of today I decided that it didn't make a lot of sense for me to release the pin um, at the same time as the washi tapes because with the washi tapes I'm doing collections I already um, launched products with the strawberry illustrations so it didn't make a lot of sense and I was afraid that the pin would get like forgotten because it's just one NML pin um, launched together with a bunch of other products so I decided that I was going to re uh, to launch the animal pin last week so I did last Saturday so the Benny uh, pin it's already up on my shop if you want to check my shop I'm going to leave the link in the description if you want to grab the pins and if you want to grab a seconds um, at a more discounted prices and I'm sorry for the light to keep changing this is so weird so yeah I did that I took the photo and I put them on my shop and now it's a new week I want to uh, do the patreon goodies between today and tomorrow and send them out I'm still not going to I'm not sure if I'm going to send them out because I'm still waiting for the exclusive stickers that I did with my patrons and they are probably going to only arrive next week this studio vlog will be focused on uh, Patreon goodie boxes and we'll see if, if we can start making um, notebooks and products for the next shop update uh, we'll see about that because the Patreon boxes always drain me <laughs> and take a long long time so spoiler alert for my patrons as always I'm going to be mentioning the Patreon boxes from now on so I'm going to insert a safe minute over here where I'm not mentioning or showing uh, any more of the content of the June boxes so yeah let's begin I'm going to add a bookmark um, and I'm going to cut it out with a shape we'll see if we can make it and if it looks okay so let's try it out first and then I'll do um, the more um, quantity and I have to do 62 sticker sheets 48 like full boxes and I also have to do 16 pins and pin banners because every six months I'm sending pin banners to my patrons or pin displays as you want to call it uh, on the highest tiers so I'll need to do all of that so let's get to work and let's do some cute things did a test print for the bookmarks they look a little bit too small but I'm also going to add some tassels to it so I'll try to see how it works I'm eating up the laminator and I'm going to laminate them and then I'll try to cut them on the silhouette to see how it works and then we'll see it from there I think it's the best These are eliminated, so let's see if it cuts. Silhouette is still cutting, but I already have 
these over here and I think they look super super cute they could be a little bit bigger but I think this size will fit every like notebook and book and stuff like that so I don't think I'm going to make them bigger they look like this and when they close the tassel will stay on the outside and I think it looks nice I'm just going to do the tassel a little bit uh, smaller because I'm going to make them uh, myself I got these ones from eBay but I don't have enough so I'll end up making them myself anyway and I have this cords things over here I don't remember the name um, so I think I'm going to do myself in this tree called these four colors um, and then patrons will end up with a color uh, randomly but I think it's manageable I think I have no idea I never uh, made tassels but we'll see about that It's now the next day and I already laminated this and I did them on both sides so they don't um, bend so much. Uh, I have some flaws over here but that just happens with this lamination because it's so so thin. Yeah, these are done so now I'm going to put them on the silhouette and cut them out and then we are going to start doing the tassels. I already did a little experiment over here and I think it looks so so nice and the sizing it's a lot better and stuff like that. This will take a while to do but I think it's worth it because it just looks so so cute and I think it will be nice to have like different colors and stuff like that so let me know what you think of this little girl her name is Anne by the way I chose it with my patrons over the live stream I had with them uh, doing a live tutorial with her so yeah let's get them out and mount them How the bookmarks look so I did this red ones and I did this ones and I think they look so so cute I really like them they don't look as good as the 
um, already made uh, tassels because they are not shiny so they are a little bit more um, I don't know <laughs> different but um, me making them means that it doesn't have a lot of waste because I like them like this like a little bit smaller uh, but I end up giving up and using some of the tassels that I already had. They still look cute. I just cut them off a little bit and I think it looks a lot better than the big ones that I had before. Otherwise, it will take me just one day just to make all the tassels. So I also use the blue one and the yellow one. And in the meanwhile, as I did the bookmarks, I also did the sticky sheets. The, I've cut it the vinyl stickers. I also already have like the little thank you cards with the message on the back, but I still write like a thank you note anyway. And the mini print that goes with the whole box. So as you can see, everything is like the same theme as I like it and a mini collection. So yeah, this is going to be this month's box. Now I need to do the pins and some pin banners because every six months now, I'm sending some pin banners to my highest tier, so I'll have to do that, but I'll leave that for tomorrow because I'm going to finish the whole thing um, tomorrow, the pins, the banners, and we are going to pack them all tomorrow. So what do you think of this month's box? These are all assembled, they are pretty, like, you can see the fabric, it's really stretched out. It's quite hard to do it, but it's so worth it. And I already tried on this one, this I'll keep for myself because the fabric didn't turn out as I wanted. And it can hold like the pins very, very well, like the, the um, fabric doesn't get distorted or bent or anything like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue with hot glue like the back and then I'll cut up the excess um, after doing that. So yeah, let's do that. And I have this pin from Emily RV that I used to test it out. But yeah, let's glue all of this.
these are all done this is how the back looks it's not like the most beautiful thing <laughs> i've ever done but it looks okay and it's nice to see them like this um and they are really strong and they can hold up the um, the pins very very well so i'm quite happy with it um the thing is i've cut the pieces of fabric a little bit too big so i end up with a lot of cutouts and like leftovers so if you know any small business that can maybe use scraps of fabric or something like that i'm going to hold off on these and maybe i don't know maybe some, them do some scrunchies or something like that i can't really sue like anything um for the life of me so if you know anyone that could use some scraps of fabric or something like that or for personal use or even for a small business that you know please do let me know and i can send this out um because i have no idea if i'll ever have use some use for it so yeah let me know um about that in the comments but yeah this is the fun result i did 17 um pin banners and let me show you mine with my pins this is how it looks. I'm missing my own pin in here, but yeah, let's just ignore that. Um, this one has a little bit of a slight color change. It's a little bit lighter, so you can see a lot of details, but this is how it looks on the back. And as you can see, like the fabric holds up straight really, really well. So I'm quite happy with it. And I hope my Wales patrons like them as well. I have no idea how people can use hot glue and not end up with glue everywhere. I'm almost sure that I even have glue like in my hair and all that kind of things. I was always like burning my fingers, so glue is a mess for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's go and making the pins and put resin and all that kind of things so we can get the boxes done. This hair looks wild today, but let's try to ignore that. Okay, it's now the next day, all the pins are ready, so let's pack the boxes. I'm not going to ship them right now, like this week, because I'm still waiting for the exclusive stickers that I did for my patrons, and I want to send them. Uh, I already asked them, and I'll be sending them at the same time, and they'll be arriving next week, so I don't send like two different packages with it. So yeah let's pack them and let's get everything ready for when the stickers arrive i can just send them out
I realized I still haven't showed you like the full box um, all together so basically my dears patron will get this sticker sheet and it's a new sticker sheet or sticker pack every month then the bear steer gets the mini print this vinyl sticker normally I have been putting it um, like a paper um, glossy sticker but this month I thought I could do an extra special one so I did a vinyl one then they'll get the bookmark that we did together and they'll get a color at random for like the tassel and all the kind of things and it has like a matte lamination on both sides I'll be putting the tutorial for how I do my bookmarks on the cards if you want to check that video out they also get like the sticker sheet thing and then the highest tier it's the whale steer that get all the things from the previous tiers and this month they'll also get the um, the display hoop for pins that I sent every six months for the highest tier so can they can display the pins that I send them and they get also the pin that you just saw me making let's see if this focus here you go I think it looks so cute and the resin looks so so shiny and nice I'm quite happy with the whole box and I'm packaging it and it comes packaged like this is this is the thank you card and I write the thank you notes over here and everything um, goes well together I like it to be like this and it looks super super cute so yeah I'm going to pack the rest of them and then I'll do I'll ship them once the exclusive stickers arrive that hopefully it will be next week so I'll show you the exclusive stickers once they arrive so let's finish packing them already packed all of this It's all packed! Yay! <laughs> Look at the amount of stuff! So this is for the whales, these ones are for the deer that have the sticker sheet inside and this is for bears, a uh, patron that has like the bookmark and all kind of things. I'm going to put everything on that box and save them for when the um, exclusive sticker for patrons arrive so i can send everything together but yay it's done boxes are done and ready for when the exclusive stickers arrived they were quite simple boxes but i don't know why this week i just feel extremely tired and it has been really hard for me to focus and feel motivated and i ask on instagram and there's a lot of people who feel this way so i don't know if there's if there's if it is like one of those kind of weeks where it's just like a general thing where everyone feels like this but yeah they felt like they took a lot longer to get ready than other boxes that maybe were a little bit more complex than these ones when you're seeing this video it's already past the month of these boxes so these were the june boxes so if you join my patreon from now on you won't get these boxes you get another ones but if you are on the deer tier, on the owl tier and up you get access to a patreon exclusive shop where you can buy all the previous boxes and i'll be updating it very very soon also 
something very very exciting I'm celebrating one year on Patreon kind of crazy to think about uh, so I'm kind of doing a celebration this month to do a live with all my patrons to celebrate I'm going to have an exclusive sticker that I'm going to send out at the end of the month um, for everyone that signs up or are on the all tier and up so I'm going to leave a link on the description where you can check like the tiers on my patreon but if you sign this month I'm going to send out an exclusive postcards for everyone that's on the owls tier and up and I'm also doing a giveaway to offer a month on August to the bears tier so you'll get access to like my patreon the old posts and all the kind of things and also you'll get the goodie boxes from August so that's also really really exciting um, so yeah if you want to check that out it will really mean a lot basically my patrons are the reason that I can call this my job and I can keep creating nice stuff art wise and also for this YouTube channel like tutorials and all the kind of things so if you would like to support my work it will really mean a lot and it makes all the difference trust me <laughs> because yeah, basically my patrons allow me to keep creating and having a more stable income so it really really means a lot and it will mean a lot if you can join us there as well and I guess that's it for the news so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I know it was a lot of patron focused but I know there's a lot of you who enjoy seeing the whole process of me making the boxes and all the kind of things and that inspire you as well to create new collections for your shop, for yourself or just for your patron as well so i really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next one also i really like to film on this corner now so let me know what you think it looks so cute right yay bye